Hi, it's Joe from Build It. I wanted to give you another look at the Cody compressor, which is one of our newest products. The idea is to completely eliminate the need for a hi-hat clutch at all. Now, it consists of two pieces. One is a modified version of, of the wash control that allows you to set your spacing on your hi-hats. And this thing called a plunger, which attaches, uh, connects directly to your pull rod, but it doesn't connect to your top cymbal. That makes setup a whole lot easier, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But the other thing it does is allows you to very accurately set where your hi-hats sit in the normal open position and lock that in. A lot of people these days are playing with very tight hi-hat spacing. That means that you know, the hi-hat's available when you're playing double kick or your both feet are tied up. So the hi-hat is available as part of, your, uh, part of your kit. So that tight spacing makes a whole lot of sense. But it makes it really tough when you're using a regular clutch. So what we end up with as a result of having the Cody wash control, sorry, the Cody wash control in combination with the Cody compressor, is that you can set using this, you can set exactly what your hi-hat spacing is going to be and then you use this to choke off the hi-hats instead of having to use a clutch. S setup's a whole lot easier. Uh, the accuracy and rep uh, re repeatability of your hi-hat spacing is improved radically. And um, you've got just a little bit more control than you have right now. Well, let me show you how it works. I've got the wash control set to a very trashy setting. In other words, there's going to be a fair bit of space between the top symbol and the bottom symbol. So all I do during setup, I put my... Uh, my bottom symbol on, drop in my wash control, top symbol, nothing to screw onto the top symbol, so you can see they're floating. I've set it using the wash control instead of using uh, a clutch, and then I just lock this guy on, just you know, some certain spacing above the top symbol. And I've got a nice trashy sound, uh, whatever spacing I choose to set based on the wash control. But now I can choke off. There's a lot of videos of Bill playing. He's a much better player than I am. But uh, the point is that I've got the easiest hi-hat setup you can imagine. Plus I've got the ability to dial very carefully exactly what I want for my spacing on my hi-hats. Much simpler way to do things. Thank you.